Do you think you're doing it too far? Yes, yes, I don't want you to fur. Alright, welcome back to the Binder Builder. I'm Damien. Today's video, we're going to build a stand for a JD Squared Model 4 bed. Welcome back to the garage, guys. Um, I'm Damien. As I am building my tools back up, see when I moved to Arkansas, I sold a lot of my stuff. Uh, when I sold my business, I sold my bender. So I, I have very few tools, as you probably notice when I'm wrenching. They're all just hand tools. And Today we're gonna actually be building a stand for a JD Squared Model 4 bender. That's what I used to have, I'm used to it. So I'm gonna be building a stand for that. One thing you notice, I put casters on the bottom, bottom of my stand so I could wheel it into the corner or wheel it out of the way or move it around as I need if I'm making uh, bends out of long pieces of tube. Now, the nice thing about the JD Squared Model 4, it does not need to be anchored to the ground, right? So if you put casters on it, not only does it just be able to live on its own and bend on its own, but when the big piece of tube hits like my the shelving you see behind me, the bender will continue to bend and then pivot. This system really works. I hope you enjoy this video as I make the proper stand for my bender. So I hope you enjoy and I'll get to a time lapse. Before we get into time lapse, let's uh, have first things first. I need some metal for this thing. So off to my favorite metal place. Man, check this out, guys. Whew. Check it out. Watch it. Look at that. Whew. Just graze right up in there, man. Oh. That's why I hate freaking abrasive saws because they leave those burrs. Freaking didn't even see it. Went to go put the piece of metal down. Cut right into me like though like it was nothing. It's actually slowing down quite a bit. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, anyway, I got some seven inch flat stock. This is three eighths thick. This will actually be what my bender will live on. It'll bolt down to here. I'm going to weld that onto this four by four box tube. Um, and then I can make the bender as tall as I would like. Um, then I'm going to use some of this box tube down here in order to make the legs they come out of this box tube that way uh, it'll just look like an X there'll be an X and then up will come right out of the center of the X and then the top plate will be on the top there and then my bender will, will just sit on and bolt down onto the top plate so that's what I'm doing that's how I'm building it um, enjoy Quick trip to uh, Harbor Freight this morning. Got me the casters I'm going to use. I'm going to use these, uh, these casters with the brakes on them so I can. 
hold it in place if I need to push it out of the way for it to stay there. So I got four of those. See how high these are going to be. About four inches, I think I could count on. It's like three and three quarters, but um, as you can see, I want to put, I want this to be, I don't want it too high, you know. As you can see, the how I'm doing this is just I'm just going to weld those right in there. And I'm, but I'm first I'm going to chop this to the height I want, and then weld it up. See how it goes. Now it's time to put the uh, top on the benders. So here's the plate, and I'm gonna clean this up, obviously, and these burrs, that's what did this. Oh, man, that hurt. Uh, afterwards, of course, it just kind of goes, sinks right into your finger like freaking butter, but I'm gonna clean that up. But this is the uh, this is the base for the Model 4 JD Squared Bender. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and unwrap this guy, and get it ready and mark on that the uh, the whole mounting holes and get those drilled. So that way we could weld it onto the stand. And then once it's welded onto the stand, then the stand can be uh, painted. I'm gonna clean it up and paint it so it doesn't look so nasty. All right, so let's get this uh, thing out of the box and get some measurements. But first let's clean up our mounting plate. Okay, well that was the uh, building of the bender stand. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, as I'm going through all the content, I'm editing it, these videos, we're sitting about the 10 minute mark, maybe a little more. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this a part one 
And on part two, we're going to complete the bender and the bender stand together with all the hydraulics. I'll show you how it works. Hey, if you guys like this type of content, go ahead and leave me a like. I really appreciate that. And if you want to continue the journey with me as I build this bug and continue to build up some tools and so forth to do it, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Other than that, I'll see you on the next one. I'm Damien, and this is The Binder Builder.